fight for freedom. The town of Concord invites artists and creative teams to respond to its call for temporary public art with installations in Concord Center in the autumn of 2024. This project is presented by the town of Concord as part of Making It Public, a program of the New England Foundation for the Arts with Forecast and the Metropolitan Area Planning Council. This program seeks to support more diverse, inclusive, and equitable part public art making across Massachusetts. Prominently situated lawn and historic Concord Center, we seek a temporary art installation to creatively interpret the ways in which people have struggled for freedom through time in Concord, Massachusetts. We're inspired by three eras in this community. We look back to 1775 as we prepare to mark the 250th anniversary of the start of the American War for Independence. We remember the personal peril and lofty ambitions at the formation of the United States. We look to the next formative era in which two 19th century Concord residents, one white and male, one black and female, that's Henry David Thoreau and Alan Garrison, how each continued this fight for independence through the abolitionist cause. And in this call, we ask artists to help Concord actively grapple with our own generation's work to provide liberty and justice for all. We seek a visually compelling artwork to help us more fully illuminate Concord's past within community life today. In 1775, the fight for freedom we recall potently was on April 19th. In the first armed conflict of the American Revolution, British colonists rose up in defense, emboldened by their ideals of liberty and self-determination. The defining moment at Concord's Old North Bridge is recalled as the shot heard around the world. The battles of Lexington and Concord were the foundational moment in the war for American independence. This is an image of the Old Manse, an historic home overlooking the North Bridge that you can still visit today. The quote is from the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The site for this installation is closely associated with this famous Concordian. In July, 1846, author and abolitionist Henry David Thoreau spent a night in the county jail on the very spot. Thoreau refused to pay his annual poll tax saying, I cannot for an instant recognize as my government that which is the slave's government also. By not paying this tax, he spent one night in jail. This event inspired him to give an anti-slavery lecture, which was later published and known as civil disobedience. Today, a small plaque makes note of the event on the site of the old jail. This image shows a cabin comparable to the one Thoreau lived in on the shores of Walden Pond. This quote is from his civil disobedience essay. I ask not for at once no government, but at once a better government. While many know Thoreau, regrettably fewer know his contemporary who also made her own important mark for civil rights. Ellen Garrison was born and lived in Concord into her early adulthood. Her grandfather was Caesar Robbins, a formerly enslaved man who fought in the American Revolution as a patriot of color. Her father, Jack, was born into slavery in New Jersey. She followed in the footsteps of her mother, Susan, and was an anti-slavery activist. As an adult, she moved to Boston and was engaged with influential black abolitionists there. Later, she became a teacher to newly freed people in the South. In 1866, she tested the nation's first civil rights act in court after she sat in a segregated waiting room in a Baltimore train station and was then forcibly ejected. She felt it was her duty to test the new law. This photo is of the Robbins House in Concord. Ellen grew up in this home, which was moved from its original site and is now nearby the site of the old manse on the North Bridge. This quote is from Ellen speaking about her lawsuit to fight racist segregation. I feel as though I ought to strive to maintain my rights. It will be a stand for others. From 1775 to the mid 19th century to today, 
Concord's fight for freedom continues. This project strives to spark new conversations amongst residents and visitors to town about what freedom and independence mean, particularly as we head into the milestone of the 250th anniversary of the American Revolution. At the site of the installation, the town intends to create a permanent memorial marking the 250th to honor the legacies of those who have fought for the rights of all people and to inspire current and future generations to continue to strive for freedom and justice, no matter the cost. We look to the creative expression of this contemporary art installation to facilitate conversations at Concord towards this lofty ambition. This temporary installation is part of this local and national moment of rethinking memorials and historical markers, a rethinking that both seeks to expand the creative expressions of a public monument and the stories these monuments tell. In the wake of the murder of George Floyd, there is a reawakened spirit of greater inclusion and racial and social justice in Concord. We seek artwork that can nurture this flame. The timeline for this project. There are two optional virtual information sessions, one on November 20th at 7 p.m. and another on November 7th at noon. In addition, on November 29th, there is an optional site visit, one at 3 p.m. and another at 6 p.m. We'll gather at the site. In case of inclement weather, we'll meet inside the townhouse across the street at 22 Monument Square. Concepts are due on January 8th, 2024, and must be submitted electronically. Semi-finalists will be awarded a stipend to develop more detailed proposals to present at a community forum at the townhouse on Wednesday, March 6th. The selected finalists will install their artwork in the autumn of 2024. The exact dates and time period will be determined in collaboration between the town and the selected artist. This is the site. It's partially shaded, a sloping lawn at 12 Main Street on Monument Square in Concord, Massachusetts. It's marked on this map with a red star. It's in the civic heart of the town on Monument Square. The site is part of a larger town owned parcel called 1693. We call for art document is a link to a variety of resource materials, including a detailed history of the site, additional views and maps. The entire parcel today includes a cluster of memorials and historic markers, a municipal parking lot, and the open green space. Key landmarks surrounding the site include Wright's Tavern, which was a muster point for Minutemen during the Battle of Lexington and Concord, the former county house, which is now a Catholic church rectory, the townhouse, which is Concord's primary municipal offices, and a large granite obelisk honoring the Union soldiers of Concord who died in the Civil War. This map provides some additional context along with a topography that shows how the site lawn slopes down in the back towards a small waterway. The view of the site, the active lawn for the installation is on the right hand side, the site with the bench. This driveway is active and will remain so during the time of the installation. Artists may incorporate landscape and architectural features provided there's no permanent impact. Water and electricity access isn't available within the installation area itself, but is approximate to it. Along with the tree and the wooden bench, subsurface stormwater management is located deeply below portions of the lawn area. Access may not be required to the covers of these basins during the period of the installation, but this infrastructure should be considered when developing one's designs. Stone and bronze marker at the rear of the site marks the proximate location of the former jail and notes the Rose Seminole essay. All artists age 18 and over working individually or in teams in any phase of their career are encouraged to apply. Projects will be evaluated by three key criteria. Artistic merit, merit will be evaluated by the work samples submitted with the application. We invite a variety of creative styles. Preference will be given to designs that support more diverse, inclusive, and equitable public art and creatively respond to the proposed site. We encourage imaginative interpretation of the theme and invite a variety of conceptual approaches, 
materials, scale, and design. We have a preference for Massachusetts artists and encourage BIPOC and LGBTQIA artists to apply. We seek designs that are specific to the site, this community, and this time. While we are inspired by local history and we welcome research and such inquiry, concepts do not necessarily need to specifically include historic references. Find what inspires you. Foremost, we are seeking to facilitate conversations on the theme of the fight for freedom and to do so in a way that is unique to here and now. Along with being a home to nearly 18,000 residents, Concord welcomes tens of thousands of visitors every year. We seek an installation that will be engaging to both audiences. We seek an installation that will communicate your complex idea in a way that's accessible to the many different people who will encounter it. Some finalists will receive a $500 stipend to refine their concepts. The artists and creative teams selected for installation will receive $20,000 to execute their work. These fees are inclusive. There's no additional support for travel or supplies. However, other, other kinds of municipal support will be provided. The application details the elements to submit with your proposal that include a simple sketch and description, work samples, and an artist statement. Our advisory committee will select up to six artists or creative teams to more fully develop their proposals. At this stage, we'll ask for logistical details to better understand, understand how you'll execute your design. All the semi-finalists are required to participate in a community forum on Wednesday, March 6th at the Concord Townhouse. This is an evening akin to a science fair. Each team will be invited to present to the audience as a whole. Also this evening, each team will be assigned a section of the room to display boards illustrating their installation and to talk with members of the public and our advisory team about their idea. This community forum is an important part of our commissioning process. While we can only invite one installation to install in Concord Center, we recognize the ideas sparked by this invitation are immensely valuable contributions to our community conversation. The selected proposal in March and April will go through a town permitting and contract process and will be awarded a $20,000 grant to execute their idea over the summer and to then install in the fall of 2024. Because we're so open to the kinds of creative expression, we're not defining the exact dates of the installation. You perhaps might like to suggest a series of performance, performances or a light installation that can only be ex executed within the budget for just a few nights. Maybe it's an environmental concept that works best by evolving over three months. We're roughly looking at the period of Labor Day through Thanksgiving of 2024 to give you a rough guideline. Discussions on the specifics of the time period and dates will be addressed when artists are invited to develop their full proposals. Questions and applications should be directed to publicartcall at concordma.gov. The deadline to apply is January 8th, 2024.